Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. If you are new here, I'm a stay-at-home mom of two. And today we're going to be decorating a little bit for Christmas. Last year we... Last year? <laughs> a last video, we actually decorated the dining room and it was just super simple. I put a photo backdrop that we've had for years and I just hung it over some artwork that's actually still hanging up behind it. I wanted to tackle a little bit of the kitchen and the buffet today. This is kind of our dumping station. This is where everything comes when we come into the door. So last year I put my village here and it was beautiful, but it took up the entire buffet. So keeping it simple this year, I still need place for the dumping station. This is just everyday life. I bought all of this greenery at Michael's in two separate trips. I love this greenery. It's really pretty. And I wanted something simple like these berries that I can just pop right out and put them back in. I had the hardest time getting this arrangement to look semi just in some sort of uniform. The stems were either too short or too long. I couldn't make up my mind. <laughs> so I'm going to put the buffet together. I'll take you guys along with me as I make dinner. I was doing this while I was cooking dinner. We had breakfast for dinner, which is pretty simple. We had pancakes, bacon, eggs, which was basically just the air fryer and the little mini waffle machine. So it was kind of easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. I do upload every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Let me know if you've already started decorating for the holidays. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. turned out i absolutely love it i think it's very simple it's super sweet those candles my husband bought for me i want to say two years ago they're super cute and my kids love looking at them they're santa and their reindeer on every single one and at night they're so pretty i picked up these reindeer if you didn't catch my christmas haul at i think rite aid i got them 50 percent off so i hang these wreaths from dollar tree on the cabinet and i hung them up last year and i only hung up two i don't know why i feel like i totally forgot about this side of the kitchen so i picked up two more this year and 
I saw somewhere on Instagram that someone had actually put their entire village above their cabinets and I was like, oh my goodness, that's a genius idea except for all of mine plug in or new batteries just like everybody else's. So I'm a little undecided. Let me know if you think it's a good idea. I think it's going to be really charming if I do put everything up there. But I think I would have to, here I am trying to get a thumbnail. <laughs> um, I never know what to put as a thumbnail. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to just string lights up there and put the village up there and just plug them into the wall. Or if I am going to manually turn on every single light. I don't know, but I think it's a really cute and sweet way to put everything together. Otherwise, I think this year, this is just me. I always, always forget about waffles in this little waffle maker it's great it doesn't burn them but i'm constantly forgetting one and i overflowed but that's okay we'll just move on to the next part of dinner i don't know so let me know your opinion about the village this little shelf is super cute i like having it in the kitchen it's a nice way to add a little bit of decor to this rather sort of boring corner trash can and this is where we keep our family calendar I picked up that Merry Christmas sign from Dollar Tree. This is old. I've had this forever from Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree, by the way. And then this bell I actually thrifted, I think, last year at a thrift store near us. And we live in a super small town, so it's always really fun to go into the thrift stores. We, I feel like we get a lot of, they get a lot of new inventory, even though our town is pretty small. I didn't know what to put up here. I feel like I changed this shelf like four or five times. That little snowman I made when I was working before I had my first son. I stopped working after I gave birth to him and I was super bored one day. I used to work in an office. I went to Dollar Tree. I picked up a bunch of stuff and I just started putting things together. I feel like we all made those when we were little. This wreath I've had, I got it from Michaels again. I picked up a lot of stuff from Michaels over the summer. You guys, I'm a little torn between this. I feel like it's just, it's missing something. I don't know if it's missing holly berry or it needs to just be kind of fluffed out. I'm not sure. I love the sign and I love the wreath, but I think it needs a little bit more pop of Christmas. So we'll see how that goes. dinner turned out great i feel like breakfast is always in the rotation because breakfast is one of those easy dinners everybody is happy can kind of just put everything on a platter call it a smorgasbord <laughs> and it's really easy to just pick a protein and some sort of carb throw some fruit on the plate and it's a win for me because i feel like it's a little bit easier especially when i'm using the air fryer we finally got a new air fryer i had one that was um I don't know what happened it just started to smell like rubber so we picked this one up at costco it's great it's called the little touchscreen front and i just feel like it cooks a little bit more evenly anytime i cook bacon i like to wipe out the inside of the air fryer with a paper towel i'll save the bacon grease sometimes i don't always save it but i do like to keep old jars and i'll pour the bacon grease in there and throw it in the fridge and i'll probably use it in some sort of recipe or i'll discard of it that way and then wipe it out wipe out the air fryer with a paper towel otherwise i feel like my sponge is just completely covered in grease let me know some of your favorite winter dishes using bacon i feel like there should just be a whole category to bacon <laughs> in winter with soup and you can put bacon in anything it's delicious so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the dinner dishes i'm gonna go ahead and vacuum i had decoration just a fluff all over the floor and then we will move into a really quick spot more all that i ask is for you to please my every need to put in the time do, trying to tell you what to do how to make me fall for you you should learn that on your own i play cool because i hope you pick it up soon know just what to do don't you 
you guys for spending some of your morning with me today i hope this is just a gentle reminder or that little push that you need to get something done in your home today was one of those days that it was genuinely just the kitchen <laughs> i feel like i was in the kitchen cleaning up all day and you know what that's where my focus was and that's okay i didn't get to the laundry there's laundry sitting on the sofa that you don't see <laughs> but honestly that's in every video i feel like there's always laundry to be done so just give yourself grace remind yourself that you're doing amazing tackle one thing in your home that one thing will carry into so much productivity for your entire week i will see you guys on tuesday thank you again for hanging out with me i hope you guys have a great day Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what